Now, South Africa is yet to decide on a push to end a global ban on buying and selling rhino horn. The move could open up a $2 billion market and also determine the fate of the critically endangered species. A record 1,305 of the animals were illegally killed in Africa last year. Buying and selling rhino horn internationally was banned in 1977. Opponents of that ban say that a properly monitored legal trade could help save the rhinos rather than condemn them to extinction. Supporters of legalizing the trade say the money could be used for conservation by the South African government and they believe that working around abolishing such a ban would prove difficult. And I still firmly believe that it's not the demand that is killing our rhinos, it's the way we supply that demand. That's the small answer. The big answer, is, of course, is if we could get a vote from CITES that allows us to trade internationally.